What is holographic imaging? This question comes from Christopher in Memphis, Tennessee. Hey Paul, what is holographic imaging and how can I achieve it? Love your videos, by the way. <laughs> well, thank you, Christopher. Um, I do appreciate that. So holographic imaging can be achieved on almost any system if you know what you're doing. And that's why Christopher asked the question, because he don't know what he's doing. And we're going to try and help Christopher out, and, and you as well, if, if, you, if you'd like to. These are the original uh, prototype speakers of Arnie Newdell. You've seen these before, and if you've watched these videos, they're, they're great. Uh, they're some of the best imaging loudspeakers I have ever heard. Though they are fairly specific. I mean, if you stand up or you sit down too much, because they, they, the vertical dispersion of this long mid-range ribbon uh, it makes those, those uh, issues come up, but that's okay. I mean, they are still completely amazing in terms of imaging. So can you get imaging like these speakers and our new speakers will have with anything? No, you can't. But you can achieve a holographic image with just about any system, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try and help you figure that out. So first off, what is a holographic image? Well, in terms of loudspeakers and systems, it's the point where the speakers disappear and all the music, everything appears behind the loudspeakers. Now, I know this can be a difficult thing for people to wrap their heads around because we know the sound is coming from the front and this speaker it just comes straight out and yet it sounds like it's coming from back here. And I, you know, when I go to shows, when I go to, um, you know, do talks in places, people always ask me about that. A, how come? And B, are you sure about that? Because I've never heard sound come from behind my speakers. It always comes from out here. Well. If it always comes from out here, you've, you've got your setup incorrectly uh, placed, okay? Now, just for one second, um, work with me and just imagine that we replace our speakers with microphones. And I've, I've talked about this before, but it's worth repeating. So if, if we imagine the speakers become microphones and we point the microphones back here, and there's a little band back here, chuck, 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 and then playing something. <laughs> um, it's going to record that sound in this space. When I turn the microphones around and turn them into speakers and they reproduce properly, they should reproduce the sound of me in back of them or in front of the microphones, if you will, because I've got the microphones turned around. Now we're going to spin it around and the speakers are going to point back out. So you have to, I know it's hard, you have to ignore the fact that the speakers point at you um, and, and just, just accept that this, when you come, if you have a chance to visit, which we always encourage people to do, and you're always welcome here, I, I'll demonstrate it to you. I mean, it's really easy, it, or whoever is going to help you through the tour, you'll, you'll hear and you go, wow, how is that possible? All right, so much depends on the kind of speakers you have. Now we have dipoles here the big IRS system in Music Room 2 and Arnie's system in Music Room 1 are dipoles and they have sound coming out of the front and out of the back and they need to be away from the rear wall. Most speakers need to be away from the rear wall for this to happen. So if you want to have a holographic image and uh, it's again it's not going to be like this but you, you can certainly get the sound detached from your speakers if, if you have anything decent in terms of electronics, because that does matter. I mean, I've heard some systems with cheesy receivers and things that, you know, there's not much we're going to be able to do to get the sound divorced from the speakers because it, it is, it is, it's just not very good sound. Um, and, and so if it's really bright or, or, or aggressive, it will tend to stay in the speakers. But I'm going to assume that you've been paying attention and you've got some reasonable electronics. Even our little $600 Sprout 
uh, integrated amplifier, a little Sprout 100, 600 bucks, right? It does everything. All you got to do is hook a pair of speakers up to it. That can image like crazy. So let's just use the Sprout for a moment. We won't talk about this <laughs> huge collection of thousands of dollars and stuff. Just take a Sprout, hook it up to your speakers, and get them away from the rear wall or the front wall, depending on your point of view, right? So the wall behind the speakers give them some room to breathe and face them as straight out if you can and, and just have a little bit of toe in. You don't usually need a lot of toe in. Most speakers don't benefit from a lot of toe in and, and your image will suffer. And that, for most people, is going to give you a, a, a sense of this holographic image, which is, again, divorced from the speakers, appearing behind. Just pull them out from the rear wall. <clears throat> and and you, you'll, you'll all of a sudden go, oh, and just, just futz around with your speakers, pointing them straight ahead and, and, and move them in and out, tow them in just a little bit, but again, get them away from the rear wall. Now, is it possible to have a holographic image without chewing up living room space? Because most of us are not going to be too popular at home if we're pulling our speakers out from the front wall. Yes, it is. And in another video, I will explain because that's what we're going to try and do. When we design our speakers, the AN series, the AN 1, 2, and 3, which are going to be designed in this room, and these will be the references, we are going to figure out a way, and I'll tell you how we're going to do that, to get them up against the wall so that average homes can have holographic imaging. Wouldn't that be a treat? Okay. Anyway, enough. So thank you, Christopher, for the uh, question. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.